in a standard form using the loss of exponents. So we have some of the one of the example. So here one example, there one example. This is the largest number we have taken. For example, the smallest number. So we need to represent this the largest number in a standard form using the loss of exponents. And there the smallest number, that smallest number, we need to represent the standard form using the loss of exponents. The same thing. So here same thing is the distance from the earth to sun is 149 million 600 million it's in international system so 149 million billions 149 billions and 600 million meters the distance from earth to sun so that the size of plant cell is 0 0.00001275 so millimeters. So we need to find out uh, in standard form that one. So here, let's see. Let's take the first example. We have a number is 149 billion six billion. So let's find this 149 into so 149. So 1496 that is 1496 because there is a little zero. 1496 remains all the zeros are present. So we can write as 10 power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 10 to the power of 8 meters. So what we have done is suppose there is 200, for example, let us take 200. So 200 can be written as two right separately. In expanded form, how would we represent the form we are writing? Expanded form equals two into hundreds. So two into hundred is two into ten over two. So because there are two zeros here, two zeros present. So two into ten over two equals. The similar manner, we have taken one four nine six, one thousand four hundred ninety six into there are how many zeros we counted? 6 plus to 8. So 10 power 8 we have written using this example. Expanded form after that as a power we have raised. So 2 into 10 power 2. This example using this example we have solved. So 1496 into 10 power 8. Because there are 8 zeros present in this. So we counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 10 power 8. So this part. Let's take the standard form. And this, this is the largest number. It's looking like very largest number. So uh, maybe to make it a small number. So let's take one of the decimal place here. Let's take a decimal place here. Nothing means 1496.0 into 10 power 8 it is. So because this is what 1496.0 is nothing but 1496. We take uh, 1.0, this can be written as 1. So there is no value, value of uh, uh, digit after uh, the value of the point. After this one point, we have a number, it doesn't have any value. Uh, so if it is 0, it doesn't have a value of it. And, uh, 0.0, it becomes 1. Same as using this example. We have taken 0 0.0. So, so it's looking like big number. So let's take this this one place to one, two, three decimal places after let's take from here one, two, three, three decimal places. So to change that one into three decimal places, it's becoming small number, smaller. How many times it's becoming smaller? It's three times because three decimal places we are changing, so it becomes into three. So three decimal places. So if we take one four one thousand four ninety six and at the, after the decimal place after one we have taken this this decimal place we jump to this here three decimal places. So it becomes here ten four eight into ten four three.
because the reason of 10 power 3 here we have taken this decimal place to after left hand side of the number of 3 decimal places we have jumped to left hand side 1, 2, 3 that is the reason we have taken multiplied by 10 power 3 so it will be passed so 10 power 3 is same common so same thing so if we multiply 10 power 3 into this number then it becomes 1496 it's balanced so that is the reason it comes here so using loss of exponents there is a rule a power n into a power n is a power n plus n so 1.496 into 10 power a plus 3 is 11 we have added the exponents because the bases are same a plus 3 is 11 so the distance from earth to sun is 1.496 into 10 to the power of 11 meters so we, we represented in standard form so using the loss of exponents let's go to the next example it's the smallest number the size of plant cell is 0.00001275 milliliters so let's write uh, this one as uh, standard form so we know that if it is a decimal place we change to a fraction so let's change this as a fraction so it becomes 1 1275 divided by so there are how many decimal places let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 5 plus 3 8 there are 8 zeros we get there 3 plus 2 5 plus 3 8 decimal places we get so here are the 8 decimal places that's the reason here you get 8 zeros uh, of that number so for example we take here 0 0.7 so 7 by 10 because there is one decimal place after point uh, after the decimal place there is one digit one number so it becomes 10 divided by 10 2 it becomes 100 similarly here 8 decimal places we will write 8 zeros of it 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, 0, a similar pattern. We have taken 8 zeros there. So, we know that we have used the same concepts of zeros. Write your zeros 1275 divided by 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros. So, 10 power 8 we can write. 10 to the power of 8. So, this is, can be written as 1, 2, 75, 1275 1275 into 1 by 10 power 8 because this can be separated and we written 1 by 10 power 8 separately we have written we don't know the rule of loss of x minus that is 1 by 8 to the power of n that can be written as 8 to the power of minus n so we know 1 to 1275 into 10 to the power of minus 8 so we know that we need to write this one to this uh, largest number so this is the smallest number we have represented as the largest number here 1275 into 10 to the power of minus 8 let's compare two values using the loss of exponents we know that we we'll take the one larger value and smaller value we we'll compare that so here, when we compare two values, let's take one example, compare the size of red blood cell, compare the size of red blood cell is 0 0.00007 meters and to that the plant cell which is 0 0.00001275 meters, so red blood cell is this one. And the uh, plant cell is 00001275 meters. So we have taken the two values. One is larger value and one is smaller value. This is the larger and the smaller. We are comparing this larger value and smaller value, this both. And these are both are meters. So when we write this one in standard form, it becomes, we you know that. 7 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so 
will get six zeros there. So that seven by ten over six will write. And then we know that we take this to the numerator part. It becomes seven into ten to the power of six. It's minus six. Let's recall. This represented as a fraction. So there are after the point how many decimal places we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six decimal places we have. So that's the reason we have taken six zeros there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six zeros we have taken. Thereafter, this is written as exponent form, 10 power 6. And this is taking the numerator part. It becomes negative value using the 1 by 8 power n is equals to 8 to the power of minus n using the root 10 power minus 6 we call. So the value of this red cell is 10, 7 into 10 to the power of minus 6. So let's compare with the plant cell. Plant cell is so 1275 divided by. So let's see how many decimal places we have after the zero. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we get 8 zeros after 1. 8 zeros. So we know that we write this one in 1, 2, 7, 5. 10 power 8 because there are 8 decimal places we have after the Okay. After the point we have 8 decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 10 power 8. So 10, 8 zeros, 10 power 8 we have written. So let's take this one to the numerator. It becomes 1, 2, 7, 5 into 10 power minus 8. We go in that. So there is looking a larger number still. So the rewrite decimal place. We learned about the concept previously. So we take three decimal places, so 275, then 10 power minus 8 into 10 power 3 we get. So when we multiply with 10 power 3, we get three decimal places. When we multiply this move, then we get the same answer here. We took 10 power 3 there, and uh, three decimal places we have taken. So both will be balanced. Let's see, three decimal places and 10 power 3. So when we simplify this one, we get 1.275 a2 a power m into a power m a power m plus a it is 10 power minus 5 we get because minus a plus 3 is minus 5 so we have written that so we have taken the red blood cell and plant cell red blood cell and plant cell so we need to compare these both the values comparison is nothing but uh, division of the two quantities so let's divide this both. So red blood cell and plant cell. Red blood cell and plant cell. So here red blood cell is, we know that 7 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and plant cell is plus if plant cell is 1.275 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so we can observe there is 10 power minus 6 and 10 power minus 5 so we can use the root of a power n by a power n so a power n minus n let's use this so and we use this a power n by a power n we can't 7 by 1.275 so a power n by a power n is a power n minus n that is we get 10 power minus 6 minus minus 5 so a power n by a power n a power n minus n so we get here 7 by 1.275 10 into 10 power minus 6 plus 5 because minus into minus six becomes like six plus six. So ten into seven into ten power minus one by one point two seven five. So ten power minus one is nothing but zero point one. So seven into zero point one by so this is one point two seven five. So 
So 0 0.7 by 1.275. So let's write this value. So 0 0.7. Let's write this same as it is. Let's write that value here. So, so we'll take some space here. So 0 0.7 write the 0 0.7 same as it is and this can be written as 1.3 because 1.275 1.275 will write as uh, here let's write this upside which is not 0 0.7 by 1.3 1.3 so we have taken here 1.275 approximately 1.3 so when we multiply 10 by 10 be getting 7 by 30. So approximately we take this value, we become 7 by 14. Approximately we are taking this value. So we find out. So it becomes 1 by 2. So what we understood here is when we compare these two numbers, we got 1 by 2. They are the ratio of 1 by 2. 1 is to 2. So red blood cell and uh, plant cell. So 1 by 2 we got, first we have shown this wall and after we simplify this part we went to just here and because of the space we went to read it here first we have solved there and after we solve this one the third part but we have written here so this is a comparison of red blood cell and the plant cell